So join me in welcoming for you this morning, Robert Adit. Good morning. Hi. For the past few weeks, every day, I've thought of this moment. And I've thought of coming here to say one thing to you. One thing. And I came here all the way from Oregon yesterday, the hypotenuse of the country, if you will, to tell you one thing. And if you take one thing from me today, I'll be happy. And I came here to tell you that I love you. I came here to tell you I love you. I do. You are teachers. I know who you are. I know what you're about. And there's people outside these walls who aren't teachers. They think they know what love is with regards to this work, but they don't know. It's not their fault. When people find out I'm a teacher, they'll say, like, oh, you must love math. You must love math. And my answer is, yes, yes, of course, I do. I love math, I acknowledge. But I don't love calculating the standard deviation by hand. They'll find out I'm a teacher. Oh, you must love kids. You love kids, right? And my answer is, of course. Of course I love kids. But we can't love every kid every day. I, was, uh, I knew, I called you, told you your teachers, told you. But what they miss about love is that to do this job optimally is that we need to be in a state of we need to walk around with love as the root, as love as the anchor, in which all our choices are bound by, even on the hard days, especially on the hard days. We need to walk around with love as the guide. And that's what makes this job so hard. Because we rip our hearts out and we lead with it and we walk around like this. And when the world doesn't reflect that same love back, it's hearts breaking. So if there's anyone that deserves unilateral, one-directional love, I'm here to give it to you. So please take that. I plan to be in a state of love all day. I'm going to be here all day by design. I'm going to hang out with you. We can share ideas. We can talk. And you deserve nothing less. Okay? And everything that I'm bringing today, every offering I have, is in the frame of loving decision-making. Because no decision can last in this business unless it's shrouded by love. 